Hey everybody, I got a lot of comments on my previous video in the Elemental Extraction series on, on lithium uh, that suggested that a lot of the metal that I actually recovered wasn't actually lithium. Because the way that these batteries work is it's a foil of lithium metal that's uh, separated by a paper separator and then there's um, an iron sulfide uh, black powder. But the iron sulfide is supported by aluminum. So there's also aluminum foil in there. So I think a lot of the uh, metal that I recovered is actually aluminum. So let's take another look. Here's some of the metal I recovered from the battery. Uh, I've stored it under argon here and you can see it's still very, very shiny. There's a couple of black specks of the sulfide in there, but that's all right. Um, so now I'm just gonna take one of these pieces out and uh, drop it into some water. So again, just like the previous video, that's just regular old water. And uh, let's take some of this metal stuff and drop it in, see what it does. <laughs> yep, that is certainly not lithium. So you see it doesn't react at all. That's definitely aluminum. So that's a problem. So let's retry that. And one of the suggestions I got was to try to open up the battery outside of the glove box uh, so I have more control over it and I can open it a little bit easier than trying to fumble with gloves and small tools. Uh, so I'll try that first and then put it into the glove box before to unroll it. As long as it's rolled up, it should um, stay pretty well untarnished uh, until I can get it filled with argon. So let's give that a shot. So I already went over a lot of lithium's properties in the last video, and I'm not gonna go over those again, uh, but there is one more thing I wanted to mention, and that's energy density. One of the advantages of, of this style of battery, the lithium battery, is they're incredibly lightweight. So that means they have a very good energy density. And to show you that, I have uh, uh, two other types of batteries here. They're all double A's, so they're all exactly the same size. Uh, this one's a rechargeable, this one's a standard alkaline, and this one's the, the ultimate lithium. So since they're all the same size, they have the same volume, and energy density is gonna be determined uh, just by the weight. So let's weigh them and see what the difference is. So this is the rechargeable, uh, 28.1 grams for that one. Uh, standard alkaline. 22.5 grams and now the energizer ultimate lithium is down at 14.5 so you see because it uses lithium metal lithium is so lightweight makes the battery lightweight and uh, so it's got a very high energy density so I wanted to show you this document that I found after I posted the first video and it's actually a data sheet on these exact batteries. So this is really, really handy to have. It tells you everything you'd ever want to know about the lithium batteries here and their chemistry. Uh, this, ha of course, is lithium iron disulfide is the chemistry. It's got the uh, symbol up here. And uh, what's interesting to me, especially, is if we scroll down a couple of pages, you get this diagram. And uh, it has the construction of the whole thing. So you see they call it the jelly roll, which I think is kind of funny. But it actually is a very accurate description of how this thing is built. Um, and it's got all the different pieces of the battery uh, shown here. And this over here tells you exactly what all those pieces are made of. So the anode is lithium metal, which is what I'm after. The cathode is the iron disulfide on an aluminum foil substrate. So that pretty much confirms that there is indeed aluminum in here. And they have a separator of some sort of plastic and an electrolyte, and it's got some information about the uh, construction of the actual jelly roll and then some of the other features of the battery. Um, so I'll, I'll put a link to this PDF in the description as well if you'd like to read the whole thing. Uh, like I said, I think it's very, very interesting. So check that out after the video. So I think part of my problem last time was that I tried to open up the battery inside the glove box. And that's pretty difficult, you know, using the gloves and, and being limited in space. Uh, so this time around, I think I'm going to try to open it up outside first uh, and then put it under the, the argon atmosphere. So again, I'm going to use the uh, pipe cutter to open this thing up. Uh, however, I found out I had a lot of trouble doing that. So I think we're going to first weaken the casing with uh, Dremel. So I'm going to try to go around uh, just the outside of, of the battery to uh, give this pipe cutter a groove to sit in and uh, make it a little bit easier to cut into. Alright, I've cut a groove around the outside of the casing and uh, now I can apply the pipe cutter to it to go the rest of the way. Um, now again, I have to be super careful with this because if I cut too far into the case, 
that's going to short the battery out. So I just need to go real slowly, um, just very gentle pressure with the pipe cutter. And I want to go until I start to see the, uh, the white of the uh, inner plastic lining. All right, I've got the cap off. You can see it's definitely loose. Uh, let's just pull that off with some pliers. Awesome, awesome. So there's the inside of the battery, um, and you can see the metal foil rolled up there. So even after getting the cap off, I still had some trouble getting the thing out, so I, I did the same thing and cut another ring out, and uh, now it should come out pretty easily. Awesome. I'll just slide this ring off. Okay, great, great. So this is the core of the battery, and now this is going to go into my glove box here, and we'll fill it up with argon and then take it apart in there. All right, glove box is filled with argon uh, for about 25 minutes, so that's a seven or eight volume purge, so we should be good to go. Um, again, this is the jelly roll interior of the battery, and now all I should need to do is unroll it. Um, the first thing you see is this uh, white outside. Uh, this is a plastic separator that separates the outer uh, metal casing from the actual battery. And then inside that, um, we have this roll that we unroll. And uh, there's two parts to this. And actually the one on top right now is the actual lithium metal which looks really nice, very, very shiny. I'm very pleased with that. Um, then we have another plastic separator, and the other side is this uh, iron sulfide, which is mounted on uh, aluminum foil. So this metal is actually aluminum, and that's what I thought was lithium to begin with. So uh, now that I know it's not, and it's very easy to separate these two, um, I'm going to take this nice and shiny lithium foil and uh, cut it up and put it into an ampule. And this will serve as permanent storage of a nice sample for display. And I got to cut it up real tiny because obviously the, the uh, mouth of the ampule is pretty small. Also, I have to work quickly because you might be able to see the lithium is actually very slowly tarnishing. Even being in the glove box here, um, it's exposed to enough oxygen still that it does tarnish. And actually what I read from that uh, document that I showed in the supplement to my previous video, uh, what I learned from that is that the gloves themselves and even the plastic that this box is made out of uh, diffuse oxygen very slowly through them. So crazily enough, uh, as I use this box, more and more oxygen is actually making its way straight through the plastic and uh, infiltrating and corroding my lithium. So see, it's already actually tarnishing quite a bit, so I got to work pretty quickly. So now I've cut up about half of the lithium foil strip, and I'm placing the pieces into the ampule here. And now we just need to flame seal this ampule just like I did before. Yeah, well, it's a little sloppier than before, but hey, it still worked. So here's the lithium from that run, uh, sealed up permanently in an ampule. So it's still obviously pretty tarnished, uh, but it is much better quality than my original lithium sample, so I think I'm making progress. Uh, so I did this with another battery as well, and here's the results from that, which I think is comparable, but very slightly better, uh, probably because with this run, I didn't actually run out of argon. <laughs> So we've got those strips sealed. This is the remainder of the lithium from both of those batteries. This is sealed under argon, capped tightly with some plumber's tape, gas tight plumber's tape. And then for reference, here is the lithium from my original sample, which is completely black. And these others are still relatively shiny. So slight improvement. So that's my lithium collection. Uh, pretty nice, I'd say. And in addition from those batteries, um, we also got two rolls of this uh, iron sulfide on aluminum. So let's test these again. Uh, these are some of the strips that I recovered that I uh, left out a little bit, so they're very, very oxidized. 
Um, and this is just some distilled water with a little bit of phenolphthalein indicator, and we'll drop it in and see what happens. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So that shows us that this metal completely dissolves in water, producing a basic solution. So it's definitely not aluminum, which is the only other possibility. So this is pure lithium. Here's a piece of pretty heavily oxidized lithium. Uh, let's see if we can ignite this. Hey, nice. See, we got that awesome red color to begin with, and uh, when it burns, we get a really bright white flame. So here's those two lithium ampules under different lighting, so you can maybe see the shininess a little bit better. Uh, you can see it's definitely tarnished, but still not too bad. So thanks to all who commented on my first video, uh, pointing out that I probably didn't have lithium. Uh, I really appreciate that kind of feedback. And uh, I'm glad I was able to actually get lithium for this video, and uh, maybe you can too. And of course, if you try this at home, uh, definitely be super, super careful. Uh, wear gloves, and especially be careful when you're opening the batteries up, especially if they start to heat up. you got to get rid of them. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.